it's time to be connected with one of Sci Connected Question Senders on DepEd TV page. Our question sender is Cha, 17 years old from Luxuhin Integrated School, Alfonso Cavite. Her question is, what is the universe made up of? According to National Geographic, the visible universe, including the Earth, the Sun, and other stars and galaxies is made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons bonded together in atoms. The rest of the universe appears to be of a mysterious, invisible substance called a dark matter which is 25% and a force that repels gravity known as a dark energy which is 70%. Scientists have not yet observed dark matter directly. It's completely invisible to light and any other forms of electromagnetic radiation. But scientists are confident that it exists because of the gravitational effects it appears to have on galaxies and other clusters. Thank you so much for your question, Cha. I hope that everyone gained additional information from it. If you have science questions, simply post it at SciConnected on DepEd TV page. Kindly follow this format. Now, it's time to be connected on one of our question senders in SciConnected on DepEd TV page. Our question sender is Faith, 10 years old from Francisco Holmes Elementary School, Schools Division of San Jose del Monte City. Her question is, why is there a rainbow? A rainbow is an optical phenomenon which appears when the sunlight and atmospheric conditions are just right and also when the viewer is in a perfect position. Light enters a water droplet. The light will reflect inside of the water droplet, separating into its component wavelength of colors. Remember that sunlight is made up of many wavelengths or colors of light. As the light exits the droplet, it makes a rainbow. Thank you so much for your questions, Faith. Hope that everyone gained additional information from it. If you have science questions, simply post it on SciConnected on DepEd TV page. Kindly follow this format. This time, let's be connected on one of our question sender on Sci Connected on DepEd TV page. Our sender is Jella, 15 years old from Lawang Bato National High School, Schools Division of Valenzuela City. Her question is, why we experience volcanic eruptions? We experience volcanic eruption when the molten rock known as magma that is formed when Earth's mantle melts, rises to the surface. Volcanoes erupt because of the pressure and density. Volcanoes spew hot, dangerous gases, lava, ash, and rocks that are destructive. Volcanic eruptions may result to floods, mudslides, wildfires, and it is also a threat on our health. Thank you so much for your question, Jella. Hope that everyone gained additional information from it. If you have questions, simply post it on SciConnected on DepEd TV page. Kindly follow this format. Now, it's time to be connected on one of our question senders in SciConnected on DepEd TV page. Our question sender is Van, 14 years old from Juan R. Liwog Memorial High School, Schools Division of Gapan City. His question is, how does the brain form memories? Memories, either good or bad, are part of our lives. It is something that we remember or something that we look back from our past. How are memories formed? The first step of forming a memory is called encoding. That starts with perception. 
If you remember the time you met your friend, you encoded or perceived an information about them. The information perceived by your senses will go to different parts of the brain and will travel to an area of the brain called hippocampus. The hippocampus integrates all the information and forms a memory. Thank you so much for your question, Van. I am sure that everyone gained additional information from it. If you have questions about science, Simply post it on SciConnected on DepEd TV page. Kindly follow this format.